What's going on? Product Pro Ben here, and today we are bringing y'all the MTech A907. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so I just wanted to let you know before we get into the video that we shot this video yesterday, and I was wearing a blue shirt, but we had technical difficulties with this camera up here. So I just wanted to let y'all know that if you see me wearing a blue shirt, that we shot this yesterday. But other than that, let's get into some of the details about this knife. I haven't done a review in a while, so if it's kind of trashy, don't mind me, I haven't done this in a while. But to start off, we have blood grooves right here. And that means if you're cutting an animal, going hunting, and you're cutting it up to get the meat, the blood will drain a lot easier and it'll make it easier to cut the animal up. Right here we have uh, double thumb studs, so it's easier to open and close. And about that, it is a assisted blade, so that's a cool thing. It's really fast. I'm really liking this knife. Um, let's go down to the grip right here. It's made out of aluminum. So it tends to be really sweaty in my palms, but other than that, I really like the design right here. Nice red design, belt clip, feels really good. Not too beefy, not too loose. Pretty good looking. Um, there's a lanyard holder right here, so you can put this thing around your wrist and uh, walk around with it, make sure it doesn't fall. Um, on the bottom here, we've got the four grooves which feels really good in your hands. You can hold it like this when you're cutting it or you can turn it around, a tactical or salt hand grip or whatever you would call it. But yeah, I'm really liking this knife. Um, so other than that, I mean, it's just got a nice red blade, drop point right here, which is all together really nice. Speaking of the blade, let's see how sharp this thing really is. Not getting too many hairs, but let's go test it on a piece of paper. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and test the sharpness on this thing. I have a feeling this is gonna be really sharp. Let's see. Really nice, barely any ripping. Let's do that one more time. Wow, this thing is really sharp. Let's go ahead and test the point and cut down on this thing. Really nice. I mean, y'all, this thing is really sharp. No problem whatsoever ripping through this paper. All right, y'all, so it was a really sharp blade, and um, I was surprised because it came straight out of the box, but I'm guessing, I mean, you can for sure put it through a sharpener once and twice, or once or twice and make it a little bit sharper. What I'm really interested in uh, seeing right now is the belt clip, because I, I told y'all earlier that it wasn't, it wasn't too beefier and it wasn't too loose. So I'm looking forward to see how it looks in the pocket, so let's go do that. All right, y'all, so let's slip this thing into the pocket real quick. Put it down right here. Slides in pretty good. Feels good, not too heavy. It's poking out a little bit over here. Let me give you a better view over here. As you can see right here, just a little bit it's poking out. Let's take it out real quick, and boom, right there. Right there, that's something I really like when you can put the knife in your pocket and, hold on, put the knife in your pocket and take it out one hand and it, the trigger is right there ready to go. Let's look at the print real quick over here. Um, not too bad, I'm wearing uh, khakis, so I'm not sure what it would look like in the jeans. Maybe a little bit tighter jeans, it would look a little bit more out there, but other than that, y'all, this thing feels really good in the pocket. I'm really liking it. So it was surprisingly light in my pocket for the size of the knife, and I mean, y'all, it's a, it's a pretty big knife. I mean, look at that, can y'all see that? Yeah, I'm sure you can, but I mean, Having it in my pocket, it felt like it wasn't even there, and the print wasn't that bad either. So what I want to do is go see how long it is and how much it weighs. All right, y'all, so let's get the weight on this thing. It's really light in my hands. I think that's because of the aluminum handle. So let's go ahead and set this down here. 5.5 ounces. Really light knife for the size of it. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and get this over here real quick. Opened, we have about... Eight and a half inches. This is one of the bigger knives we reviewed on product probes. Let's go ahead and close this over here. Right there, five, about five inches, or five and three fourths, but y'all, this thing is really long. Let's see the blade itself. Four, three and a half, three and three quarters. So y'all, I mean, this blade and the knife itself is pretty large. 
I am liking this knife. All right, y'all, so like I said, it's a really light knife. I mean, 5.5 ounces is not bad for the size of this knife. That's something I really enjoy about this knife. What I also enjoy about this knife is just the way it looks itself. I mean, it's just a clean looking knife. Really sharp, really big belly, so I mean, you can cut through things really easily. And right out of the box, it's pretty sharp. I mean, you got your blood grooves, double thumb studs, really good grip on this blade, although it's made out of aluminum and makes it kind of sweaty. But all together, I mean, m -Tech does a really good job in making these blades. Other than that, again, like I said earlier at the beginning of this video, this is my uh, first review in a while, so don't blame me if it's a little bad, but leave some comments down below and tell me how I could uh, fix what I say, how I do, what I can do to improve. But other than that, like, subscribe, and don't forget to watch our Friday night knife giveaways where we give a knife, a knife away like this every single Friday. I'll see y'all on the next one. It is a nice red knife, something we really don't have here at Product, product Probes. Oh, no. Listen!